Hello everyone and welcome to another new series, another discussion based series, but this time it's more reviews more than anything, and we're going to be talking about manga, um, a weekly manga that some of us read and some of us don't, and joining me today is going to be the probably the usual crew of Jalen and Ricky. Yep. Hello there. Yep. Hello, Ricky Stan. How are you today? <laughs> Fucking Stan. But uh, let's get to start off right. Let's go ahead and um. You know, when people say the best for last, but we're not doing that today. <laughs> oh. After this week's um, a chapters. So let's go off with One Piece Chapter 699, and oh boy, it was, you know, with the hype from two weeks ago, Oda had a lot to deliver on, mm -hmm. um, with that just that last page alone, mm -hmm. and honestly, I can say that I expected more out of this chapter. Yeah, I'm just saying I expect like a full blown fight between Kuzan and Doflamingo. Nope, we got like a brief encounter and Doflamingo was just all right, okay, bye. Yeah. Great quit. And I don't know, it seems like, you know, if the crew is heading towards Jess Rosa, why aren't they there yet? Why aren't they able to get the the newspaper for the next day? Considering Doflamingo walked from Jess Rosa to Punk Hazard. Well, he was using that sky thing, remember? Yeah, he, he like... He ran there, though. They're going at, like, the wind's pace. That's true, but, you know, even even then, the, to run there, though, that's implying that they can't be that far apart. He was jumping, actually. Oh, my God, I just noticed something. What? Okay, you know how you see Law's, um, wanted poster? Yeah. Did you notice that that <laughs> bow is in the back of his, like, Usopp's and Luffy's? Yes, yeah. I'm on that page. So am I. Oh, my God. Did you know That's he has a bounty? Who, Beppo? Yeah. It's like 500. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Better than Chopper. That's true. And is it just me, or does Luffy's look a little different, too? It does. It looks, it looks really different. Yeah. Like, I think it's supposed to be the same picture, but it looks slightly different. Mm-hmm. Well, he touched it up a bit. I'm about to check it out. But yes, I still think this was a solid chapter, though, and I love the scene with uh, Momo um, with the women. That was hilarious. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. love that. And, of course, seeing Robin and nothing more than Natal is always... always a bonus. Right. So, if I had to rate this chapter in comparison to, like, last, uh, two weeks ago and some of the chapters before that, I'm going to go give this one an 8 out of 10. Mm. Uh, what do you guys think? Oh, um, I would say. What was that, Ricky? 8 out of 10. I'm going to go with a 7. Just because, like... <clears throat> For like the past few, honestly, the past few months, whenever I read One Piece, even if it's like, even if not a lot happened, I still felt that a lot happened. This is like the first chapter in a long time that I felt not much happened, but it's still a good chapter. So yeah, all right. Um, so eight, eight from me, eight from Ricky, and seven from Jalen. So let's move on to the next uh, series on our list, which is Naruto. <laughs> <sighs> you know, I'm real, I'm really fine with the concept of flashbacks. Uh huh. Like, I really am. In a flashback, stupid. But this flashback inception crap that Kishimoto's got going on, uh. I, I don't, I don't approve. 
But it's, and it's not something I really care about that much. Exactly. Like, if this was maybe, you know, a bit more important, it was just, oh, this is how the first Hokage and Madara met. Like, who cares? Like, really, who cares? Who cares how they first met? I just wanted, I wanted to see the rest of that fight. That fight was legit. <laughs> Ishimoto reads his own series. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm trying to remember, like, nothing else really happened. Like, you know, a good, like, three-fourths of the chapter are the first Okage and Mata are having this legit fight. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, meanwhile, when they were kids. They so were I think up. I have to give this one an easy six out of ten. Like, if there's been worse chapters of Naruto, because that fight alone brought it up a good couple points. And the art's pretty decent. Um, the first Okage's hair as a kid looks really weird, though. It's like, it's almost like Rock Lee's on, like, one side. Just, it looks really weird to me. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, I see what you're talking about. It looks really weird. Like, it's completely uneven. But, yeah, so I'm going with a 6 out of 10. What do you guys think about it? Like, what do you think about the chapter and the score? <laughs> Honestly, I have not been reading about this. I had no clue what was going on. I knew they were fighting, but... Well, the, the flashback just started this chapter. Yeah. Oh, well, that thousand, that million hand thing, what the hell? That was kind of cool, though. It yeah. was. And we didn't get to see what it did. <laughs> just flashback. Within a flashback. Let's go throw some rocks. Oh my god. So your score was what again, Ricky? Five. Uh, I give it the same score, a five. Mostly because Kishimoto could have did it a bit differently and I wouldn't have been as much so upset. He could have been like, okay, I'm going to start from the beginning of how me and Madara met. But no, we had to have a fight. And then a flashback. And then a flashback. <laughs> There's something wrong with that. There's a lot of things wrong with that. Mm. This arc, like this war arc, has had more flashbacks than the, the entire series. <laughs> <laughs> and like you know, it's it's stupid. Like you know, this is probably gonna get like six, seven chapters, while Obito's only had like two. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Obito's been like the main villain for how long? For since, it's like, since basically Shippuden started? Yeah. And he got a two chapter flashback about why he became evil? There's something missing there. A character who ha has just appeared pretty much gets more of a flashback than fucking the main villain. <laughs> Man. Yep. But I've had, that's enough Naruto talk, I think. Oh, my God. One six and two fives for Naruto. So now let's go to the best of the bunch. Let's go to Bleach. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard to say with the straight face. Uh, Bleach. Let's see. Let's recap what happened. There were some panels that had white and black backgrounds. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, 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 ex that expensive color palette. <laughs> <laughs> Tampachi heard some voices. Mm hmm. <coughs> and it, we found out Ichigo sucks. What a surprise. And what? Ichigo's got to go train. And, why and does, oh, Reggie's better than Ichigo. Why does the main character suck so much? Because he's a mutt. He's got everything in him. Oh. Now he's not going to train with Uru and his, or however you say his name, and his dad. Bye bye, his super awesome Quincy Powers. <laughs> I was really excited when this last arc started because it was the last arc. Right. And now I can see this is going to be like longer than the Eisen fight. Like the whole Eisen fight is going to pale in comparison to this arc because they're doing so much crap. He's yeah. trying to throw in so much crap. I swear, like, if you like take everything from. <clears throat> When the Iran girls first appeared, up to the Eisen fight, that was like a whole, that felt like a whole five years worth of content. Wasn't it a good, like, three or four, though? I think so. 
this will this and so if this arc is going to be worse, will be one piece will almost be over by the time this is going to finish. Oh man, Naruto is going to end first, even though technically they're still saying it's not in its last arc yet. <laughs> So, if you guys had to offer, um, give Bleach its score last, so what do you guys rank this week's chapter of Bleach? Black and white, um, it's five out of ten. <laughs> Is that a zero? Pretty much. Oh, actually, three. I'm not going to give it a straight up zero. <laughs> Why is it a three? <laughs> Them colors. <laughs> okay. All right, Jalen. I'll give it a three, only because I'm gonna be nice, and my reason is just because Kenpachi finally found his sword, his sword's lace. That's the only good development. It's too late to matter. I know. So it's not really a good development. Like I said, I'm being nice. <laughs> Alright, well, I have to give it... I guess I'll give it a four. I mean, I kind of enjoyed the fight with Kenpachi and What's-Her-Face. Shit Q didn't mean anything until three chapters ago. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, her. The, the fight was okay. I mean, I'm kind of glad it, it wasn't... You know, too super long. I think it's stupid that she's dead. <laughs> I hear like she's like the super like, amazingly powerful character, and oh yeah, she's dead. Don't so forget, she's also the healer too. So they just killed their white mage. They oh my god, they did. Mm-hmm. Maybe she like. Well, it's no one, um, Kubo and Bleach General. Now that he's, like, found his sword's voice, he's just gonna get up. She's just gonna get up and be like, yeah, I'm fine, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I healed myself as she stabbed me. That's not something Kubo do. But, yeah, that, that's enough for Bleach. So, finally, Ricky, probably won't, Ricky can't talk about this one, I don't think. So this is gonna be just me and Jalen. Um, we're going to be talking about Assassination Classroom, Chapter 31. Mm. The series is still really young, but it's still, without a doubt, becoming almost as enjoyable for One Piece uh, as One Piece is for me. And it's the same way in Japan, because in this week's rankings, Ass Class was number one. It got the number one spot this week. Mm-hmm. And this chapter was probably one of my favorite chapters to date. Maybe because I like... I didn't think this series could really pull off a good, like, battle scene. Yeah. And he did it. Like, this was... It was a, you know, two-chapter fight. But it was still... No, I don't think it's over, actually. Considering the last page, but... Yeah. You know, Itona is probably the biggest threat that Korra Sensei has had up to this point. Almost definitely. Yeah. And, he, and he's, you know, Korra Sensei is so stronger than him. <laughs> <coughs> so I don't know how they're going to beat him, but, you know, last week they alluded more to... They keep implying that there's something extra to Korra Sensei that we don't know about. Mm-hmm. Like, why? It's like, you know, Itona looks human. I think he's just like a modified human. So did, like, Korra Sensei mutate from that? It is a possibility. I mean, it's, he's definitely not an alien. I'm sorry, he's not. Because we've seen since the beginning flashbacks of some human, like some female, mm-hmm. that's with him. So I think he might be, used to be a human. Maybe something happened on the moon during his experiments and it blew up, but since he survived, they blamed it on him. Oh. That's my theory on it. But um, this this chapter was great, I think. I love how, of course, since they actually had him ring out. So mm-hmm. I'm going to give this, probably, it's the highlight of my week so far. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it an 8. 
Um, it was really good. Really good job there. Uh, for all the things you said, uh, and it's definitely a sign of uh, more intense things to come. Very, because especially when you look at the last page, I think he toned his little butt hurt. <laughs> a little? Yeah. He just got the whole black thing going on. Mm -hmm. But I guess we'll end off this episode with um, a serious suggestion that I just read it moments before we started this. Um, you guys can read it or not if you want to. <coughs> it's a new series in Shaun and Jump. And it's called World Trigger. Oh, yeah. And it's like they took um, another kind of recent series that's probably going to be canceled, though, uh, Hungry Joker, and they took, like, its style and mixed it with Siren mm. and made World Trigger. And it seems pretty interesting so far. I mean, once again, I'm so easily able to compare it to two other series that it's not exactly unique, but it's unique enough to keep me reading. So... If you guys are looking for something new to read, check out World, Tw World Trigger on Manga Here or Manga Panda or wherever you read your manga at. It's pretty good. And I think that's it for today's stuff because as the week goes on, we'll be getting more and more series that we talk about. Yeah. And, you know, they'll probably get individual <laughs> videos. But this one was like... You know, that typical whatever comes out on Wednesday, we review it on Wednesday. That kind of deal. So that was our reviews for One Piece 699, Naruto 621, Bleach 527, Assassination Classroom Chapter 31. And we will see you guys next week for, and later this week for more manga reviews. Good day.